Well, while the politicians trade jibes, people in Bristol have been queuing round the block for a third day after a new dentist opened its doors to NHS patients. That came as the government announced plans to spend £200 million on payments to dentists who treat NHS patients in England. And that will go towards funding 2.5 uh, million new uh, NHS uh, appointments. Now... The government had a lukewarm response from the British Dental Association, which says the system in England is slipping back into a Victorian era, with some people resorting to DIY dentistry. Now, this graph will show us how hard some adults are finding it to get treatment. These are figures from NHS England, and we're looking at the percentage of adults who have seen an NHS dentist in the last two years. In 2018, about half of all people had seen their dentist, but... Covid kept many patients away during 2020 and a backlog built up and thousands of dentists decided to stop treating NHS patients. Nearly two years later, only 41% of patients had seen their dentist within two years, meaning nearly two thirds of adults are going private or missing out on treatment altogether. Here's Simeon Brown. This is my life. I can't smile anymore. Now that Caroline's reflection has changed, facing the mirror is an ordeal. Caroline's dentist joined the exodus of providers leaving the NHS to go private. I've lost all of these. Now the earliest appointment offered from her nearest NHS dentist is in three years. I've been told that no, I can't be accepted. Um, three years waiting list. I've rang everybody in the area. It, it got so painful. It got so painful and so wobbly. I just started pulling them out. 200 miles away, this is not the queue for a Beyonce concert, but the opening of an NHS dentist in Bristol. For days, thousands have tried to register before it stopped accepting new patients. Right across the country, there are millions without a dentist, and the government is being forced to act. It currently spends £3 billion a year on NHS dentistry. Today's announcement has promised an extra £200 million of funding to get more patients through dentist doors, and a £20,000 one-off golden hello payment to attract new NHS dentists to areas in need. But the British Dental Association say the money does not add up as in real terms, the budget is still down a billion pounds since 2010. We've got gaping wounds in the NHS dental service and we're getting some plasters to stick on those gaping wounds. That isn't going to be enough to actually turn this around. So will a £20,000 golden hello mean more dentists taking up NHS positions? In, in areas that have previously tried this, it hasn't been successful. It wasn't increasing the number of people working in the NHS, it was actually just moving a cohort of dentists around who were actually being incentivised by that amount of money. The NHS will now give dentists up to £50 for each new patient they accept. But what they can earn in the private sector still far exceeds the amount from the NHS. So can the government's plans stop dentists abandoning the health service? This is a really ambitious plan, but it's also a plan in which we have complete confidence. We have a plan for dentist, uh, dentistry and for dental recovery, and that plan will offer up to two and a half million more appointments, but also the long-term preventative work. But the consequences of that plan not working means further challenges on other parts of the NHS. Those desperately trying to access urgent dental care are increasingly turning to A and D. And this is a service that is already under substantial pressure and all of this is forcing the government to take action. But in a sector undergoing pain and little financial gain, a recovery will have problems teething. And here in Bristol, this NHS dentist just opened is already turning away new patients. Simeon Brown. Well, we did ask the government for an interview, but no one was available.